do it on a dime here. So in this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of our guest bathroom, our newly updated guest bathroom, organizing, cleaning tips, the whole shebang. And I don't know what it is, but I love on YouTube watching transformed spaces, specifically to see that there are other people out there who've got spots of their houses that they don't like, especially if those are people that make home stuff and home lifestyle vlogs on YouTube. It's like, yeah, I can totally relate to that. So our guest bathroom before was definitely nothing to write home about. There were things about the wall that needed to be patched up because we got a new light fixture. And I'm very embarrassed to say that it kind of stayed like that for over a year. So yeah, we finally got around to really transforming this space all on a budget. So let me show you guys. So welcome to the after tour of the bathroom. I think the biggest thing we did was paint and we just used leftover paint that we already had. So it was very inexpensive. The color is Bear's Silver Leaf in case you're interested, but I love it. It's like the perfect blue gray shade. The next thing we did that really anchored the space was update the mirror. Now I got this at Kirkland's and I also had a 20% off coupon on top of that. They're always having sales and coupons there, but it really helped because before it was just the same builder grade mirror that I think was from the 80s and I just fell in love with this woven textured design. I seriously could walk around that store all day long. So next I want to show you guys this organizer above the toilet. Now this was here before. I got this from Target a long time ago, but you can find similar ones at Bed Bath & Beyond, etc. But we just have toilet paper kind of stored underneath. And then on the shelf, I just have pretty white things out. And I just think this looks so crisp and clean. And these containers were from the Dollar Tree, no lie. So display white things that will really help make your bathroom seem a lot fresher and cleaner. And this is how I organize the inside. Now this used to house my makeup if you follow me for a long time but now it houses all of the kids stuff these cups were from the dollar spot at Target they constantly have things like this like toothpaste just so it's categorized and easy to get to I've got extra diapers and then just extra toothbrushes that I've gotten really cheaply I just stick right in this bin hidden away and those pull-out drawer organizers no joke were from the Goodwill I see those there constantly but I love how this cupboard hides all of the clutter from being out all the time. So underneath of the sink, again, I went to the Dollar Tree and this system has stayed in place for a long time so I know it works. I've just stacked these bins and just kind of put containers in each area so I know exactly what I can find in each one. And I love the really flexible container in the middle which is where I keep all of my cleaning supplies. Now we have a shower bath combo and I really like how we have a shower rod that bows outward. It gives you a lot more space. And if you're looking for a way to clean your shower quickly and have it be really clean naturally, the best thing you can use is hot water with about a cup of vinegar for every cup of water you have and just a squirt of dish soap. Scrub it on with a Dollar Tree scrub brush and that is how we get our shower sparkling clean. We also have this little whale on the spout of the tub so that way Carson doesn't bong his head. And here's what we do with the kid toys. I've just got this little crocodile guy that kind of dries out all of the toys that he's using and we rotate the toys out and using a Dollar Tree bin just hang them off of the curtain rod. It works super well and then the water just leaks out down back into the tub. So this bathroom is not just Carson's bathroom, it's also our guest bathroom. So one thing that I like to do before guests come is put out a welcome basket. The basket itself is from Dollar Tree. It's a mesh basket. It is one of my favorite baskets they sell. And I just have a bunch of small samples and some rolled up towels in here and then a little chalkboard label on it so the guests know it's for them. But I just keep this basket like this all the time in one of our closets and just pull it out when guests come, refill as need be. And I also like to put out a little cup. This I actually got from the Goodwill just for toothbrushes and stuff like that. So that way they have a place to put all of their things and they feel really welcome in our house. House, even though there's quite a bit of kids stuff in this bathroom. So that's the gist of it, our multifunctional space and how we keep it clean, organized, and easy to access. You can see Carson's little potty seat hiding over in the corner there, but this space has to be multifunctional for us. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below about things that you do to keep your bathroom organized, clean, and just a space that's actually inviting to come into, no matter how small it is. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.